Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's trouble is very much derived from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm Geralt, a Witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. Lovely outfit. You look dashing. Thank you. You're dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot to be written from the black ones. We've also wine from the temple of Malaysia. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otrek on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it doesn't. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. 
And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. No cheating, Nottie! One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It'd likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. <laughs> Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Do you have no shame? Shame? Why would I? A queen? Geralt, this is Holger Blackhand, Berna, Brand's widow, and our hostess today. You've already met. Widow? A widow's duty is to lie beside her husband. A widow's duty is to care for the king's son. Not by our customs, it ain't. Your customs are barbarous. A custom that demands widows burn themselves alive? Too harsh. Foreigners. Holger, perhaps you'd like to show us the meaning of courage? Walk willingly into flames? I'm sure we can scrape together some wood. Calling me a coward? Calm yourself, Holger. You speak to a widow at her husband's wake? Heard a lot of good things about Bran. I will miss him sorely. I was not his first wife, but I bore him his firstborn son and saw him off on his final journey. We lived a great many years together. Let's move on, Yen. High time we did as well. Come, Svanriga. Bern is a scheming whore. Refuses to admit her reign's ended. Bran knew how to keep her in line. Let's drink to his memory. Bran, a great king, a great man. May our next king be his equal. Geralt. All right, let's go. What did you say in the beast's face? It was a falling star in my mind. 
Tell me, Lucas. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha. Give me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. <laughs> Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one! Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak! Show us what you're made of! Move the benches! There's to be some gob slapping! Now in the moment, the twist has struck my heart. We can choke the teeth already! Make him choke on his teeth already! Crush his god, white one! Let's end this. Had enough? Ah! Ah! You got me good! That were quite a wallop! Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction, sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking, it's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher, let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arendur. Then you but a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. You land rats are all the same. Fear to your wenches. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct.
Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip. While well, starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble and creams whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right. Nightingales croon. This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come. There's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia being romantic. 